I'm Hmong, and roughly we are actually the largest minority group here in Minnesota. Um, we are also a um, refugee uh, group, people group. You know, I definitely see, um, we have this place called the Hmong Village. Um, that's just actually, there's, there's another place called Como, which is actually Hmong Town too, but they actually centralize a lot of the Hmong people where everybody comes there. It's like a mini marketplace. So people are selling food, they're selling vegetables, but it's just a great um, location because everyone knows where it's at. I know some people that go there six days a week. You know, mm -hmm. um, it's pretty common. It's it's like the one area where we go for a one-stop shop. Mm -hmm. We get food, we get vegetables, we get clothing, we get our our weekly uh, dosage of being Hmong. I guess mm -hmm. you can say that mm -hmm. in, in in America. So mm -hmm. uh, people go there all the time, and just being able to actually put Alpha in there, we can actually expose what Alpha is, um, expose to to everyday people who don't actually come across um, churches. Just bringing it to the Hmong village, and then from there actually being exposed. Um, to the community as a whole, um, it, it plants a seed where we can actually take it to the Hmong churches because they're actually, because that's actually reaching outside of the four walls. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what we really need. And if Hmong Village is a place where people are sort of walking up and down aisles inside of a building looking at food and clothing and other items they could buy, mm -hmm. where in the midst of all that hustle and bustle could you run an alpha course? Well, the great thing about Hmong Village is, is that um, there's a food court and then there's you know, places where vendors can actually sell, you know, um, vegetables and clothing. But also there's conferences, conference rooms in the back that you, we can actually run alpha courses. And so it's always free during the weekdays, which is perfect because there's not a lot of traffic. And so people can find parking, people know exactly where it's at, and, um, and it works for everybody. Mm -hmm. So and then they can just eat and then come to the alpha course. You get all kinds of people that actually walk up to Hmong Village. And so um, just running a course there, being available to people, that's something that, um, that's a great thing because Hmong Village, all kinds of people come. And, and I think that's something that they can take back to their churches and tell their pastor about what they've seen 